Hi, and welcome to another Radan technical video. This tech video looks at the procedure for etching text on a part. In order to etch text onto a part, the text geometry must be formatted correctly. Text objects are not recognized by Radan tooling commands, so the text must be converted into lines and arcs. For auto tooling to apply the etch condition to text geometry automatically, the defined pen for features to be etched must be applied to the text geometry. Within Radan files, existing text objects can be converted to lines and arcs with the Realize command. Any new text being added to a Radan file can be inserted in realized condition into the drawing with the text command's Realize text option. Let's walk through these options in Radan. As mentioned, text objects are not acceptable object types to assign tooling to. So to tool text for etching, you must first convert or realize the text object into individual line and arc objects. Notice when an edit command is active that the entire text object highlights, indicating it's all one object. Since tooling commands don't recognize text objects, we'll need to realize it into lines and arcs using the realize command and its text option. Notice now each individual line or arc that represents a text character is highlighted individually within an edit command. To automatically add the etch condition to this converted text, you'll want to first determine the pen color set for etching in auto tooling. In this dialog, the pens for features to be etched is set to pen number 5. I'll assign the pen 5 color to the text geometry, so when auto tooling is run on the part, the etch condition is added to the text geometry automatically. Notice the tool path on the text geometry now. If I use the tool list option to redraw just the selected tool, Notice how the tooling stays displayed on the text geometry and not on the part edge tooled with a different condition. When adding new text to be etched, make sure to set the color for the text object to match the etch pen color setting defined in auto tooling. In addition to setting the color correctly, also use the text commands realize in drawing option. Then the added text is preset for etch tooling and automatically realized into lines and arcs. This new text is added in the etch color defined in auto tooling and realized into lines and arcs automatically. Notice when the edit command is active and the cursor is near this new text that each line and arc highlights separately. When the auto tooling command is run, you can see that there is toolpath applied to the text geometry just added to this part drawing. There is a tolerance setting available when using the text and the realize commands and options. This tolerance setting determines how similar the realized geometry is to the original geometry prior to the realization operation, essentially controlling how similar the realized text geometry will look compared to the original text object. Newer releases of Radan have this tolerance setting at five thousandths of an inch. If your tolerance setting is lower than that, you may want to consider changing it to this new default value. Let's look at where these tolerance fields are located. In Radan, this tolerance setting is an editable field found in the lower portion of the drafting command panel for both the text commands Realize in Drawing option and the Realize commands text option. In summary, we've seen that etching text using the auto tooling command is easy as long as the text is formatted correctly. 
Thanks for watching this tech video and stay tuned for more videos from the Radian Resource Newsletter and check out other Radian Tech videos in the video clips section of the Vero Customer Support Portal.